Good morning. Welcome back to STC India 2019, day two. Uh, we've got another um, real fun-packed agenda for you today. Lots of great speakers um, and, again, lots of great content. We hope you enjoyed yesterday. I think you're going to enjoy today as well. Um, they say India is a land full of surprises. So after a long, hard day at SDC yesterday, I stumbled down to the bar looking forward to a long, ice-cold beer. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> so, uh, just quickly run through the usual housekeeping for you. Um, really just to uh, re-emphasize what I said yesterday. Uh, mobile phones as a courtesy to the speakers, please. Um, in terms of uh, presentations, uh, I think you all know that we'll post the uh, PDFs with the permissions from the speakers after the event and all the sessions are being recorded and will be available in a few weeks' time uh, post-production on our YouTube channel, the SNEER YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for retaining your badges. If I could ask, we're trying to reduce our plastic waste. As you leave the conference, uh, please hand in your badge and we'll recycle those uh, badges for another event or for next year. Uh, as usual, use social media. Um, we like to uh, see lots of comments on, on Twitter and LinkedIn, so have a look at those. And we've introduced some new features. There is an event app which has got the agenda and the speakers. Uh, so if you download the Events XD app and look for SDC India, uh, at least you can look at that on your mobile phone. You don't need one of these to carry around. Uh, while I'm talking about the agenda, there is one change to the agenda today. At, um, at 10.50, uh, uh, we're actually changing the tracks over. So uh, Samsung, which is posted in uh, track A, will now be in track B, and IBM will move to track A. So just a quick track swap uh, mid-morning. So just so you're aware of that. Uh, there is a QR code on your badge. Uh, this was a feature requested by many of you from last year to enable you to exchange V-card information uh, with your counterparts, so please use that. Um, if any of you want to protect your uh, privacy, just obscure it, uh, but that's available for your preference. We are doing sponsor presentations, so those of you that were around yesterday will know there's some great presentations by our sponsors uh, going on outside, so please look out for CalSoft, uh, for Microchip, uh, for Teledyne and Viavi, go talk to them. All the sponsors out there, without them, this event wouldn't happen. So please uh, take a moment in the breaks to go along and see what they've got to say. And then finally, those of you around yesterday saw the, uh, the first rollout of a lightning talk session. Um, I certainly found it a lot of fun. There were some great uh, lightning talks there. Uh, we'll do the same again at the end of today, and uh, it should be a lot of fun to, to wrap up. So another new feature that we're introducing. So as you walk around, you'll see feedback forms. I, I can't stress uh, how important this is. We take very careful of attention of not only the ratings, uh, but comments that you give us about your experiences here. Any suggestions you have for how we can make this better for you, please use those feedback forms. And there are prizes that we give out at the end of the day uh, based on those, uh, but the content is vital as we continue to make this event a much more enjoyable experience for you. So that's done with the uh, housekeeping. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, my staff and I are on hand to answer any questions you might have, uh, but I'm now going to hand over to the Chair of SNEER India, Mr. Udayan Singh. Thanks a lot, Paul. Very good morning to everyone. And uh, we had a fantastic day one yesterday. A lot of sessions focused on different technologies, especially cloud and different other areas which we covered yesterday. Uh, and I would again want to stress on the feedback part which Paul mentioned. So we have been meeting one-on-ones and discussing, board members have been discussing. But 
if you write your feedback, it's noted down. And uh, any feedback which you're giving on one on one, but if you write it down and give it on the feedback form, it really makes a lot of difference. It helps us improve the next time. So please do that. Now, I'll just quickly, because most of you had attended yesterday's session, so just for those who are coming for the first day today, uh, SNIA India, uh, overall SNIA has around 185 members, and it's a well-established organization focusing on storage technologies. And in SNIA India itself, we have 18 members currently, and looking forward for other companies to join uh, and you will find a lot of activities which are being done by SNIA India. Now, what we do specifically from overall SNIA perspective, we focus on standards development. So some of the standards which we talked about yesterday, persistent memory, computational storage. So these are the standards which are being developed by SNIA. And SNIA India also is trying to collaborate with SNIA and participate and uh, be a participative member in those. Interoperability, so PlugFest are these kind of activities which we also participate in. And uh, one of the earlier specifications, which was cloud development, CDMI, uh, was where uh, SNIA India also participated. Uh, then we have the special interest group. There are two special interest groups which we are asking for. So persistent memory and uh, computational storage are the two focus areas which we're going to take up this year from SNIA India perspective. So in case you are interested in these two, please write it down in your feedback form and we'll get connected with you. Apart from that, if you are interested in any other uh, special interest group, please write it down specifically in the feedback form. That really helps us in understanding who is interested in what. That will give us an entire perspective. Okay, if we have a basic number of people engaged within the India community, we can focus on that particular area. And uh, then overall SNIA focuses on the aspects of certification and education on storage. So that's another area of focus for overall SNIA. These are the, mem these are the overall focus areas for SNIA. If you look at, so it's cloud, persistent memory, uh, next-gen data centers, so looking into the areas of uh, green storage. So these are some of the focus areas which we have from overall SNIA. Um, for those who are not members of SNIA India, these are the three things which you should be looking at. One, if you become a member of SNIA, you go about influencing the overall storage industry. The second one is you get to collaborate with the member companies and those who are participating in the developer community of storage. And third, you get to express and lead the industry. So that's the three basic uh, objectives or the value which you get out of SNIA. So if you are not the members, please look into becoming members of SNIA. What SNIA India is focusing on, uh, so last year we had a technical council established for SNIA India. Again, I would want to thank each of those members, member companies and the members who have come on board because these were the folks who went about reviewing all the papers which were submitted and then qualifying them for which, which have been presented during yesterday and which will be presented today. So it's an important aspect and uh, would really want to thank the members of the Technical Council. The Technical Education and Meetups which we are working, it's a networking event which we do. So there have been four, ten meetups which we have done uh, where uh, it's been uh, now Microchip, CalSoft, MindTech, and Veritas Technologies. So four meetups have been done by these companies, primarily two in Bangalore, two in Pune. We are looking forward for more meetups coming during the coming year. And uh, if your company is interested in hosting the meetup, it's a very organized manner of conducting such meetups. So look for, looking forward for more uh, meetups coming up this year. It's a very uh, short duration, three hours of a duration hosted by the member company in their office. So it's up to them how they want to organize, but focused on the overall trends and a specialized topic. So it helps in connecting as well as learning about a specific area. Uh, I did mention about the special interest group. 
So in case you are interested in any of the special interest group which I mentioned about, uh, persistent memory or uh, computational storage or any other area which is of your focus and you find it on SNIA uh, overall website, let us know and we would look into how we can uh, form the special interest group within India community and we have a technical council to guide that. So let's work together further on it. And uh, this is the fifth year we are conducting the SDC India. Moving forward, looking forward for next year again we meet for the SDC. So that's the other thing which we'll be looking for. And uh, another point is since education is very important, right, and storage is what we are looking for. So SNEA certification is where in case your company is interested, we can work on those aspects. Now, uh, I would want to thank each of these people who have been uh, contributing for the overall organization and conducting of SDC India. So the first one is the technical council. I would request you to give them a big hand of applause. So these are the folks who find which are the best possible topics. They are experienced and uh, excellent folks on uh, SMEs rather or experts on the storage technology. Each of them have been in the area for a number of years. And these are the folks who went about evaluating the papers and uh, filtering out which are the ones they have uh, to be selected. They worked along with two more folks from SNEA US, which is Mark Carlson and SW Worth. So this is the entire technical community which goes about uh, finalizing the papers and selecting it. This year, the number of papers have gone up and we had around 90 submissions coming across. So think of it filtering through all those papers, asking questions, uh, getting answers and then finalizing the papers was what the way which we went through. So thanks a lot to the SNIA India Technical Council. The second one is the SNIA India Board. The SNIA India Board is a member, now the voting members primarily comprising of the SNIA India Board. These member companies, they have been giving the entire direction to how the SNIA itself is working in India. So let it be SDC overall conduct, uh, conducting the SDC or doing the 10 meetups or looking at the certification aspect or we are going to form the technical uh, special interest work groups here in India. So the board members, yeah, if we have the board members here, please. Rather, if we can just call you out here, just please. Uh, and also, I would want to call uh, Paul Talbert and Hushbu. So, why don't you come on the stage, please? And then the SDC India Agenda Committee. So, this committee works along with the Technical Council in forming the entire uh, aspect which I mentioned. So thanks a lot. So just to introduce. So we have Vinod from Wipro, uh, Karnendu from Mindtech, Anand from uh, Microchip now, and uh, Rahul sir from uh, Smile and Security. Uh, we have Siddhartho from NetApp, and uh, Paul Talbert, Evito, I think everyone would have interacted with him somehow or the other. And we have Khushbu, who is the uh, SNEA India director. So big round of applause for these folks. Thanks a lot. So there are some other members who are not there today, but uh, thanks a lot for those folks as well. And uh, finally, on the SDC India Agenda Committee. So this committee itself is formed, focusing, uh, comprising of members from the SNI India board, as well as SNEA US. We work together. And if you know for sure, there's a SNIA US also conducts uh, SDC US as well as there's an EMEA event which is conducted for SDC. So the first one usually started off with SDC US and then we had SDC India uh, and then EMEA being conducted. So great going. 
Now with that, I would want to thank the sponsors because of which uh, this has been possible. So the premier sponsors, the technology sponsors supporting and the association partners, all of them are very critical for the success of the event. Uh, sincere thanks to each one of those and with that, uh, I'll move on to the first presentation for the day today.